Hello traders, so the title of the video is uh, Power of Moving Average 20, uh, Part 3. Have you watched Part 1? Very important, please watch Part 1 and then watch Part 2 uh, before watching Part 3. That will be the best approach. If you miss everything, at least watch a Part 1. This is Part 3. We're going to use a Fibonacci retracement and also a moving averages. The Fibonacci retracement that we want to use is either mainly 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level or 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level in conjunction with the moving average 10 and moving average 20. That's it. Moving average 10, moving average 20. It can be either exponential moving average 10 or simple moving average 10. Please, you feel free to use a simple moving of 10. Then it's a little bit lagging, which is good. All right. Or if you prefer exponential, that's fine. But you can use simple moving averages also. So 10 and 20 and two retracement, Fibonacci retracement, 23.6% and 38.2% level. On which time frame? On the monthly chart. So you say to me, George, are you kidding me? I never look on the monthly chart. I encourage you to use the monthly chart. Though we can apply this strategy on any time frame, you are likely to see okay solid or robust setup on the monthly chart. That's why I'm recommending the monthly chart. But if you apply it on another time frame, just know that it can fizzle out, it can just be blah blah blah. Okay, let's move on. So, what are we looking for? That's a very important question. The price goes up from A to B, all right, and then pull back to the 23.6% Fibonacci freshman level or 38.2% Fibonacci freshman level. As it is retesting that level, all right, it is also uh, at uh, either moving average 10 or moving average uh, 20. Do you get it? All right. So without too much blah, blah, blah for my side, because I like to talk to so they say, do keep it short. All right. So here it is. So the price went out from year to year. All right, and then you pull back to 23.6% level. Can you read on my chart? Or am I talking to myself? <laughs> we are here. Can you see 23.6% from here? Okay, let's adjust it properly so we are very accurate today. Yeah, 23.6%. Put a bit of color into it. Turquoise, it's not like that. That's the turquoise like this. So when I from A to B, I pull back to 23.6% level. And it's also retesting the moving average 10 in a zone. You see, it's a zone. Not didn't touch it properly, but you can see quite close to the, the, the blue line is the moving average 10. Can you see that moving average 10? Here I'm using a simple moving average 10. Okay? That's it. That's what you are looking for. That's a bullish training setup. You need to be un to understand that if you are any time frame, the candlestick bar that is touching them, that key level, and also the moving average is this one, isn't it? Yeah. That candlestick bar must close. This is an essential condition. That's what I'm saying to you. So if you are saying you are on a daily chart, you are, if you are saying you are on a hourly time frame or 30 minute time frame, it's better to use the daily chart because the hourly time frame may close many times before a daily candlestick bar may close. So, if you are lazy, you want to disobey me, you say, George, I never like to obey you. I don't want to use the monthly chart, though you say so. I want to use the daily chart. Use the daily chart at least, all right? <laughs> but I could say to you, monthly chart is better. Okay? That candlestick bar on that time frame must close. And then, you wait at the beginning of the month. You see, opening of this month, you see, it opened there and start going down fast, though it's about to go up. That's why you will see price about to go up. It will try to go down fast <laughs> because people want to buy low. That's what's happening all the time. So, this one did open here, got a little bit of tilt. Kai came crashed close to the test, the moving of the and then from there, boom, up. Whether you are day trading, swing trading, or scalping, be ready. When it's going up, so you may take your portion. Is that something you can do? So you may say, Joe, why don't you take this one here? All right. So let's look at that. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So first place price. Uh, okay.
Okay, here we are. So he went now from here to here. So when this candlestick bar did open here, he went up first. Yes or no? He went up first. Okay, so we should put it here. That's why I put it there. Okay, so it went up first to that point. All right, and now it start pulling back. Okay, he went below the 23.6% level. Why? Because he preferred the moving of a 10. So that's why I'm saying to you, either the, the 38.2 percent level or the 23.6 percent Fibonacci retracement level. He's switching between those two key levels when he retesting, okay, a moving average 10 or 20. So he's switching between the 23.6 percent level and the 38.2 percent level. He's also switching between the the 10 or 8 or GSTW 24 trader right or the 10 and the 20. Switching between the moving average 10 and 20, and also between the level of 23.6 per cell level and the 38.2 per cell level. Can you see that? It pulled back. Yeah, now this case went up a bit, they push it back to retest it at 38.2 per cell level. Can you see that? 38.2 per cell level. Okay, let's color that into pink. You will see now on your chart. See that? 38.2 per cell level near the moving average 10. That can be bar, whether you're on a daily chart, weekly chart, monthly chart, I prefer the monthly chart, mass close. So take note, mass close, mass close, mass close. If it doesn't close, don't 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 do anything. Wait. And when the next candle by started, you see it closed, next thing you see it, it pulled by again. You see, instead of going up straight away, it went up a little bit before going up as it did here. So you'll be wondering, George, you still waking oh George, oh George, you stupid boy. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, my friend. <laughs> All right. Maybe you'll be taken out first. Sometimes they may take you out two or three times. But if the setup is still valid, you come back again for the next signal. That's what's happened. There's no, okay, there's always a risk. Sometimes they take you out two or three times. Personally, if they take me out three times, I go away. <laughs> All right. I don't want to fight all the time like that, okay? Just go away. Right? Sometimes it may take you out once and twice, and the third time you, you, you enter the train, now you get paid and you get back your money. You don't make profit, but you get back your money, which is good. Because you are defending your trading account. You don't want your to deplete your trading account. You want your trading account to survive. So you are fighting like a donkey to take your money. You want to get it back. You chase them and get it back, okay? <laughs> All right. Not uh, emotionally though, because trader can get emotional. Everybody get emotional. Uh, oh, George, 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 please. Okay. So now here it is. It went out from here. Uh, you get it now? Okay. I'm, I'm making you smile. I'm making you laugh. Okay. So you don't run away from this tutorial. But I'm very serious. So it went up again. You see from here, from the moving average, from a moving average, it went up. So prior going up from one moving average, you see it went up from here. Then it went up again. You look at that. It pulled back to what? Which is tough first, you see here. Yeah? Look, look carefully, look carefully, my friend. So he retested the 23.6 percent level. You can see that that month he pulled back a bit, he opened up above it and pulled back a bit and went up, yes or no? So people did buy at 23.6% level, but that's not what we are looking for for this strategy. We want either moving, we want the 23.6% level or 38.2% level, and also we want either the moving of a 10 and the moving of 20. So we are interested in the pullback that are near the moving of a 10 or 20 corresponding either to 23.6% or 38.2%. Fibonacci retracement level. Here it is. 38.2% level. Let's call it in black to highlight okay, some Taekwondo or Shotokan black belts. Ajime. All right? Here it is. All right? 38.2% level. Here it is. And it's also retesting what? Moving up to 10. What's happened after that? That can be see bar must close. This one. Did you get it now? Have I managed to brainwash you today with your own permission? On YouTube? Okay, this is good. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah? Yeah? Near the moving up to 10. It's closed. 
that month of August 2017 is closed. The following month, you bet, you go down fast. You go down fast. You want to retest it. You see what? It did open. It came down fast. So you say, Joe, you see it's going to go up. Use a different time to the method and be patient. But it went down fast, but it closed abolishly and continued to go up, up, up. Is that something that a TSTW24 trader can work with? Yes. So a TSTW24 trader can find this setup, okay, on a monthly chart or at least daily chart. I would prefer monthly chart. You may say to me, Joe, you are pushing a bit too far. And then you just keep watching that financial. So you'll be watching that financial instrument on the first best time frame where okay the signal and the entry will take place you want to be the first i mean not the first i mean you want to enter the trade at early stage after the first buyers which means hedge fund the big financial institution okay okay decide to buy or sell okay here they will decide to buy you don't want to enter the trade too late so if you want to buy, you don't want it to go up, and you are buying at the top, and they take you down. You want to pull back before you buy. You see that can see but pull back before people bought it. That's what you want to do. Sometimes people are, are buying when it's going up. Sometimes you can go. You see, yeah, it's just going up, going up. But the best are probably people want it to pull back, and then you buy. That's the safest way to buy. Okay. So I think I've said everything that I need to say. The tools that you need for the strategy is what? So you can see that I'm using uh, exponential moving average 20 here, and I'm using simple moving average 10. It does matter, okay? It does matter. If you understand moving averages, it does matter. Some traders prefer the exponential, some people prefer the simple, but you want to use 10 or 20 moving averages, okay? And which Fibonacci key levels? 23.6% and 38.2% level on the edge of those uh, two moving averages as I demonstrated it for you. This is to find first the trading setup, okay? If you are TSCW24 trader, once that can see by is closed, you go to the first best time frame, okay? Crossing your leg and your fingers, okay? Your hair and everything patiently until you know that it's ready Okay, on the first place time frame, and you enter the trade safely at the early stage. Okay, if the signal fell, just come up. There will be another chance. Okay, very simple. Manage the trade carefully. All right. Now, if you are not TSTW24 trader or you are TSTWSYS008 trader, which is about swing trading, 008 is about swing trading, you see that you go to the signal time frame. So it's a setup, it's a bullish setup. Now you go, if you see down the monthly chart, you are TSCWS, so you, you are Now you go to the signal time frame, waiting for your clear cut signal on the edge. Draw your chart, draw your trend line, and trade on the edge. Break below, retest, break it below, retest. If the signal fail, just come out. There will be another chance. Okay? Don't gamble. Just be gentle, be composed. Breathe in, breathe out. You are working on your skill to imp you are working to improve your trading skill. Use a demo account if you are still struggling until you master it. It's a trading strategy. Alright? But this is a technical trading strategy. One should use it in conjunction with the economy news, especially if you are trading forex. One must always check the economy news at the forexfactory.com. The economy news for the week, for the day, and for the month will affect the financial instrument that you are about to trade. Apart from those things, those who are swing trading, very important point, use the trading triangle. The trading triangle consists of paying attention first to the S&P 500, which represents the market. And the next thing that you pay attention to is the sector to which the financial instrument belongs to. And the last thing, believe it or not, that you want to concentrate on is the financial instrument that you are about to trade. That's the last one. It's amazing, isn't it? And then after that, you want to check the economy news relating to that financial instrument and the market leaders of that sector. If you are trading stock, you want to understand the trading triangle. And, okay, the fundamental, the market leaders, okay, the economy news. 
It's about the trading triangle. If you are swing trading, so a lot of traders sometimes buy TSTWS because they are swing trading, but they are not mature yet to swing trade. And the swing the, the TSTWS is your eight is about multiple time frame trading method. I would say that if you are a new trader, don't buy the TSTWS is your eight. All right, but anybody can buy TSTW twenty four for day trading, but for SYS is your eight. Don't. Don't buy 008 if you are still a new trader. So this will conclude our discussion today all right, about the power of moving average 20 and part 3. I believe you have watched part 1, part 2, and part 3. This series of video was recorded because a TSTW24 a trader, with the name I will call him Alex, did challenge me and say, George, well, you talk about uh, all right, things in the document of TSTW24. I want to know more about the move in average 20. And I say, well, that was a difficult question. Okay, that's why we did record this video. All right, so if you have any question, you are TSTW24 trader or SYZ trader, please ask question. And with that, we can record video. And this one we're going to share in the public place to, all right, to help other traders out there. The video has been truly, truly useful. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank Alex for asking essential questions. If you have any more questions, you know my email. Send it to me. And in due course, I will be busy recording another tutorial. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by sticking your beautiful thumbs up. If you think that, Joe, this was another garbage one more time, your performance is going down big time, please let me know by sticking your beautiful thumbs down. However, if you think that George, for the first time in your life, you have done a very good job on YouTube, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, all right, our channel is two for a stock trader. Uh, this one I'm posting it at uh, George Trio. So our channel is George Trio YouTube channel. All right, subscribe today and be sure to click on the notification bell because we are live streaming pre-recorded videos on YouTube now, which is good. And sometimes, if I don't go to bed, okay, by that time, I'll be watching with you. If I'm not busy, I'll be staying up watching together with you, live streaming, so you can ask me questions directly as the video is playing, okay, live, all right? So this will conclude our discussion today. About the uh, about, uh, power of moving average 20, uh, part uh, 3. Until the next time, enjoy your chef and uh, be uh, very happy. We are the GSTW24 traders talking about power of moving average 20, uh, part uh, 3. The financial instrument that we were analyzing today is Illinois, okay, two Swex Incorporated. Epic ITW, an American stock belonging to the industrial sector, diversified industrial. Happy trading to you all, <laughs> and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.